Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so let's find out together what's coming through for you. Energies for you, the Ten of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Energies for your person, the Two of Cups and the Strength card. Between you and your person, we have the Magician. Meeting energies, the Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands and the King of Wands. The Oracle cards, Community and the Chop Wood. Well, guys, this person can be someone that has been around you for a meaningful amount of time now, community, and maybe even in the workplace for some of you, chop wood, carry water. They can try to get closer to you more and more. They can have feelings for you, two of cups. The strength card is a Leo energy, so this person can think about you a lot. You can be more hesitant though, Seven of Pentacles. Maybe you are not in a hurry. You want to find the right opportunity for you in order to manifest the Ten of Cups into reality. What's catching my attention, guys, are the energies that we got in the meeting. Because I feel that you can resonate with the Queen of Pentacles. So, truly a pleasant human being, it can be easy and a true pleasure to interact with you but you may have to resist some advances coming from the king of wands who can be your person of interest they can try to chase you but are you interested in a romantic connection with this person so let's pull more cards let's see what we can get because this person would love to begin a romantic connection with you, but if you don't feel the same, what are we talking about? Boom friend zone, maybe. Let's see. Ten of Pentacles for the Ten of Cups. Strength card for the Seven of Pentacles, resisting, holding back, justice for the Two of Cups, Four of Swords for the Strength card, Knight of Pentacles for the Queen of Pentacles, King of Wands for the Seven of Wands, the Empress for the King of Wands. Well, guys, it is quite interesting because uh, this person can truly think about you they want to earn your trust, but there is something that doesn't feel right from your perspective. The strength card is a matter of trust and patience. In this case, I would say that some of you may not entirely trust this person and the interaction. And so you can truly hold back. And this person can say in a justice fashion that they are the right person for you. It's like the match can work. They can also be divorced, guys. And they can say that after their divorce, they have never met someone like you, especially if this person is not a friend, but maybe a colleague, for example, or a co-worker. Again, the interesting part of the reading so far is in the meeting position, because the King of Wands sees potential and value for a positive development in a connection with you, the Empress, and the King of Wands wants to pursue the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles can be available to consider opportunities in the Romantic Arena, but it seems that the Knight of Pentacles energy is the one that can catch the attention of the Queen in a meaningful way. The King of Wands may not have it. And so there can be a resistance, Seven of Wands, right in the face of the King of Wands. It's like the more this person tries, because they can be persistent. This is the point. 
They can be persistent because they have something in their mind. Guys, they can have feelings, yes, but they also would love to sleep with you. And the King of Wands is trying to make some moves in order to achieve that goal. I think that you can put the situation on the back burner because the magician energy is not in common between the two of you. The vision is not in common. So what should you focus on in a situation like this one? The fact that if you don't feel it, you cannot fake it, if you ask me. Queen of Pentacles, recurrent energy. King of Wands, recurrent energy. Eight of Pentacles, chop wood, carry water. Then, situation in the workplace. Now, we can say that 100%, five of cups. Missed opportunity, missed chance. Some of you can fear that because you do not trust the situation enough. This person is fighting against the odds, guys. Uh, they can make you a ton of compliments. They can be even way over the line. I mean, over and over, compliment after compliment, you know? All right, I got it. Thank you. But <laughs> this does not mean that something must happen, you know? And maybe this person kind of misunderstood your willingness to openly interact with them, especially in the workplace, guys. So it may be necessary to set some new boundaries in this connection or in this interaction, let's say. What's the obstacle? The Hierophant. Commitment may not be available. Page of Pentacles, doing your homework. This is a due diligence. So you may not be convinced. This person can try and try, but the outcome may still be the same. Page of Wands, teeny tiny bit of passion. The interaction is super simple, meaning that this person can try to earn points with you in your eyes. They do not seem to be successful, <laughs> to be honest. And so it's difficult to build something if a person doesn't trust the situation entirely. Let's ask for guidance about this situation. Eight of Cups. The opportunity to leave the interaction behind is more than an option, especially from your perspective. The moon in the background can also describe the fact that you don't really understand why this person can try and try and try, even if you never really open your door, you know, in favor of something more. They can be a little bit fixated, guys. They can be stubborn. Maybe they think that they can overcome this challenge. And they can truly say that they think they are the person for you, the right match. Well, they are entitled to have an opinion, but this does not mean that you have to agree with what they can say. The moon, guys, on point. There is something that doesn't feel right. And it is also possible that the more this person becomes persistent, the more you can feel uncomfortable in their presence. You get it? The sooner you make clear that you do not feel it, the better it can be for you. The emperor, much for the empress. They can truly say that the power couple is available on paper. But if the plan is not the same and it doesn't seem to be the case, it's impossible to take action in order to honor the magician. Nine of Pentacles, the single lady. Looking for a fair companion? Yes. One that can share virtues, values, and aspirations. 
one that can be there, especially in the long run, to go down the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups road. This is what you want. But in order to get it, you cannot settle for a connection with someone that maybe you do not entirely trust or you do not entirely like. Even if they say that they are madly in love with you. I think that they will get a no for an answer, guys, and they will have to get over it, you know? Because it seems that this person, no matter how hard they try, doesn't stand a chance. And I want to repeat myself, the sooner you make the point clear, the sooner you can set new boundaries and the better this can be for you. Otherwise, the situation can become awkward and a little bit uncomfortable and it can be wiser to avoid that. So guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.